What do the top reps do better than anyone else? They stay on top of their deals. But how do you do that when you're managing your email and your CRM at the same time and trying to get through your email as fast as possible to find the ones that are worth responding to? Well, Superhuman and HubSpot together make that possible because it's less contact switching and you actually have a lot of tools at your disposal right inside of your inbox. So in this video, I'm going to show you the four ways that you can use Superhuman and HubSpot together to stay on top of those deals and close deals faster because the person to respond and stay on top of things the best usually gets the win. Let's dive in. All right, first things first, let's make sure Superhuman is integrated with HubSpot. And to do that, I've actually downloaded the Superhuman application on my Mac. And now you can see it's actually loaded here in its own screen. And I pull up this little icon here on settings. And then I look at this HubSpot feature and that's where you're gonna click. We're gonna go ahead and sign in with HubSpot here. It's gonna take you to a new window. Let's go ahead and do what we need to do to get that synced, find your portal. And then let's go ahead and choose that account. Let's give it permissions to manage our inbox. We're gonna connect that app and then we can open Superhuman and we've got HubSpot in the sidebar. Now we're ready for power play number one and that is customize your sidebar with the data that you need to see inside of your HubSpot portal inside of Superhuman. What I love about this is it is unique to you as a user. It's not reflective on the sidebar you set up as far as default settings over in HubSpot, like in the settings area, but you can do this right here in Superhuman. So as I've got these settings pulled up, again, if you aren't logged in to HubSpot, you need to do that. But then over here in the window on the right, just click on HubSpot and it will pull up your sidebar preferences. So by default, this is what I have here listed, but if I wanted to add any additional properties, I just look for the property here. So let's say that I wanted to add a property if they're nurturing ready and I'm going to go ahead and click add. If I hit the arrow back, now you can see that it's over here in our settings. And if I click out of this and I click into a contact record and they happen to be inside of our HubSpot portal, it's going to show me that detail already on the right hand side for that person inside of HubSpot. So if I needed to go ahead and update this, I can update their job role here. We've got our options in our portal set like this, and then you would save it and that goes right back over to your HubSpot. So any details that you're getting from email go automatically into the sidebar, automatically into your CRM, no context switching, all right here. Another thing you can see in the sidebar with this HubSpot integration is you can see any mail that may have come previously with that person. So if I just hover over this, this is one week ago, two weeks ago, two weeks ago. So again, you can see all this data over on the right hand side. And then if I happen to have a deal for this person, it would show up over on this side as well. Let's go back to that settings area and you can see that we actually have information about that deal. And again, we can roll over this and see if we wanna add additional properties. Here we've actually got a um, type. So if we did a deal type, we could add that in as well. So if we're actually looking at what type of deal it is, it would show up on the right hand side and that's how that all works. If you get an email from someone who isn't in your HubSpot, but you want to add them to your HubSpot as a contact, it's as easy as using this button over here. It says add to HubSpot. Very easy to see that they're not in your HubSpot currently. So as you can see, many, many options there for you to maintain that sales flow and really work your way through the inbox. Okay, power play number two, stay on top of those critical conversations using the split inbox. And what I love is the VIP inbox. So let me go back to this main screen here. Superhuman gives you these here already important calendar. This one's a secret that I love. Any of those calendar invites you get automatically saved here in that separate folder doesn't clutter your inbox, I love that. Let's say I wanna stay on top of emails from specific prospects. So I'm gonna go into this split inbox settings and VIP is where that specific folder would live. So let's go to this settings here and I can add anyone that I wanna stay on top of. So I'm gonna add the, the one we just looked at and it's going to go ahead and show up in its own. You could choose if you want it to show up in the important and other folder as well. In this case, I'm gonna uncheck this so it only shows up in the VIP folder. I'm gonna go back and exit. And now you can see that only that Ali Schwanke, the Allison Ann's shows up here in this VIP folder. So think about those, again, those deals you have that you're working, you wanna make sure you don't miss a message. You can add that into your VIP split inbox. Power play number three is monitoring customer activity to see when they're engaging, to see when you have to respond or be the first to respond, which is what we talked about in the start of this video. Over here on the recent opens tab, we actually can see what emails have been opened and when. And it's given us that yesterday one was open in the last seven days, these are ones that have been open and then earlier this month. So if I was communicating with these folks and wanted to make sure that I get back to them in a timely manner, these recent opens are gonna give me a little shortcut to do that. Power play number four, make it easy to do follow up with the do later shortcuts. Did you know that more than 44% of salespeople give up after one follow up? 
and 80% of sales come after five follow-ups. Okay, so that gap in the middle is where this comes in handy. So the shortcuts down at the bottom of the screen, these are coded here. If you wanna turn these off, you would just X out of here. I like to keep them on the screen to remind me to do something later, but you can use the shortcut of do later, which is the H, and it's going to give you times that you're reminded to do something. So let's say that I'm going into this email that I've got from Erica, and I wanna make sure that I remember to follow up with her. Well, first of all, if I use the H here, it's going to give me predefined times, but I can actually just start typing. So if I say um, tomorrow, it's going to give me an assumption that 8 a.m. the next day is the day that you wanna do this. But I could also say follow up in two weeks. And instead of trying to know what date that is, Superhuman just automatically figures that out. So what I love about this is not only do I have the follow-ups that I need to put in my uh, to-do schedule, but if the prospect, or in this case, the customer, replies before you do the follow-up, it will render this follow-up ineffective and it will bring it back into your view in your inbox. So that's great because you don't have to worry about it. You can actually just focus on what needs to happen today. Now that you got those four power plays, let's see them in motion as we work through an opportunity here in our inbox. So first of all, if you look at the recent opens, you'll see that we have an email that just got open seven minutes ago about something. We're gonna pull that open and see what's going on here. Oh, looks like on the right-hand side, we can see that it's a hot opportunity because it's a new deal type and we don't have a next step and it looks like the client responded. Fantastic, let's catch up in a few weeks. Now, the next thing we might wanna do here is respond. So in order to do that, we just hit R and now we have a response. We can actually have it written with AI. So draft a quick response, thank them for their feedback and you'll follow up. Okay, so now AI is gonna write us something. Um, that should be, okay, let's go ahead and accept that and talk soon. All right, we're gonna go ahead and send that. And now that we sent it, we can go ahead and update over here on our next step. And our next step is meet with clients. And we're gonna click on save. And now that we're done, we're actually going to archive this. So we're gonna hit E and it's done. And now it's out of our inbox and we are finished. All of that within a couple of minutes, we already updated the information in HubSpot, got back to the client, used AI, and we're done. That's it, that's how those pieces all work together and how you can be faster at those follow-ups using Superhuman and HubSpot together. For more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button and let us know if you're using Superhuman, what is your favorite shortcut? Hit it in the comments below.